Grandma? Is everything alright? I don't think so. <laughs> Welcome to Silent Nights, everyone! Yeah, Grandma's got some issues, and I don't think it's just because her husband died. Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, I'll be playing a first-person psychological horror experience called Silent Nights. And of course, if you want to try this for yourselves, the links and the details, as always, are down below in the description for you. In this game, my grandfather has recently died, and my grandmother isn't coping with it all that well. I'm going to go over and stay with her for a while, try and console her, try and make her feel a little bit better. It's probably not going to be that easy. Plus, it's a horror game, so who knows what we're going to be dealing with. Let's go find out, shall we? This is Silent Nights. My grandfather died two years ago. Grandmother had been very sad ever since, so I went to the village to visit her. And the award for the most unnecessary subtitles goes to... <laughs> right. And off to the village I go, I guess. Let's go make Grandma feel better. Grandma? Is everything alright? I don't think so. <laughs> Welcome to Silent Nights, everyone! Yeah, Grandma's got some issues, and I don't think it's just because her husband died. Right. Here we are, then. Let's get started. Grandma's house. As a child, I often came here for the weekend. Right. I'm not seeing her twitching through the window. That's always good. Straight off the bat, I've got to say, this game looks glorious. It's on the newest version of the Unreal Engine, as I understand, so that probably explains it. Right, let's see. Oh. Oh, I'm scribbling something down. My grandparents always had a spare key. It was hidden under a small rock somewhere in the backyard. Right, well, I suppose it's the backyard we want to go then, isn't it? Uh, but I did scribble something down, right? Yes, in my diary. We're using this system. Um, I'm going to have to find the key. Somewhere around here, I guess. Alright. So, yeah. Is she possessed? <laughs> Is she a normal grandma? Is she a witch? I don't know. Right. There's a couple rocks here. Quite a few, actually. Hmm. I guess it's not one of those. Here's the back door. Uh, this one down here? Nah, that would be far too obvious, wouldn't it? Right. Yeah, you know what? There's actually quite a few stones and rocks around the garden here. Around the plants, the bushes, the flowers. Hopefully the one I'm looking for is going to stick out like a sore thumb. Not one of these? No? None of these are usable at the moment. This one? I'm sorry, what are you? Oh, I know what you are. You're the key. Here it is. Right. Strange. Okay. Uh, so are we going through the back door, or...? It says I could use it. Let's see. It unlocks the main door. Probably just the front door, so let's get back round to the front. Yeah, still no sign of Grandma, which might be a good thing. I don't know. I definitely saw her in there, though, didn't I? Okay. So, right click, left click. And we're in. Okay. A note from Grandma? It could be. What's this? Oh, Grandpa's lighter. Can be useful. Uh, this is Grandpa's lighter. He loved this lighter and always carried it with him. He always said he wanted to give it to you, Tom. Thanks, Grandpa. Uh, Alright, four. There it is. Okay. And can we light the candles? 
we can. I guess things are going to get dark at some point. Right. Let's go like this one too. Don't need it now though, do we? Right. Well, let's explore, shall we? Or rather, I need to take off my backpack. It's very heavy. There we go. Right. That's better. Where was I? Let's explore, shall we? <laughs> In here? Alright. Nothing changed here, and the smell takes me back to my childhood. Alright. Looks like a quaint, quite cozy little place. Well, it's a mess. I should clean up the kitchen before Grandma gets back. She'll be glad. Right, okay. Take the trash with right mouse button. Or don't click anything at all. Apparently that was all automatic. There's a smash plate down here. I, right, again, that was gathered automatically. Alright. The game is doing the, the hard work for me. Uh, I guess I'm not putting this away. I don't like that up, though. I, whoa, what was that? Alright. Oh, I can pick this up. Right. Uh, uh, where do I put this? Down there? Oh, yeah, that works. Alright, there we go. Bit by bit, we're cleaning the place up. Don't know if I can wipe that. Let's assume that's a red wine stain and not blood, shall we? Right, okay. What else have we got around here? I... Even the table is in the same place as many years ago. I remember writing a school essay on how I spent my summer here. I wrote about fishing and picking mushrooms with Grandpa and helping Grandma in the kitchen. I remember our walks in the great outdoors and spending cozy evenings with my grandparents reading books. They even helped me with this essay. <laughs> nice little memory. Okay, another candle to light. I wonder if Grandma's even watching TV these days. Uh. Alright. Okay. Would these be the books that we read back in the day? Alright. An old aquarium. When I was little, there were a lot of fish in it. They say that watching fish swim calms you down. And it's true. Hmm. Maybe that's what my grandma needs. Right. Should we go upstairs? Well, let's see. Let's go back out to the hall here. Right. There's the back door. There is another door here, though. Alright. I, I don't remember this door ever being open. Okay. Did you never clean yourself when you visited Grandma and Grandpa? <laughs> Guess not. All right. Let's see then. Anything of any note? Uh, I don't think so. Nothing down the toilet. No extra keys. And uh, yeah, that door is still locked. Okay. Right. It's the back door that you were talking about. I don't remember this door ever being open. Let's go upstairs. Let's see. Okay. What did I just write down? Keep looking around the house. Will do. Will do. Keep lighting candles, too. Alright. Got a bedroom in here. The guest room. I always slept in this room when I came over. I guess this is where I'm going to be staying for the game. Alright. Oh, looks like there's a ladder over there. Up to an attic or something. Yeah, a ladder to the attic. As a child, I liked hiding there, but growing up, I would come to visit less and less often. Alright. Here we are. I wonder what's in those boxes. Probably grandfather's stuff. Grandma brought them up here herself? God, lady of steel. <laughs> Alright. Grandpa's old tools and other stuff. And a strange looking mannequin. Right. Okay. Still no sign of Grandma, which is a bit strange. There's a door over here. Let's see. Ah, here we go. What was that? Grandmother's room. I can't imagine how cold and sad she must feel sleeping here all alone now that Grandfather's gone. Yeah. Okay. That's very well balanced. Yeah, this is all prep work for when it gets really dark. Hmm, okay. Another TV? 
Grandfather's TV. He loved watching it. Sometimes he would fall asleep on the couch watching his favourite show. Grandmother was always very angry with him when she would wake him up in the middle of the night and find him snoozing on the couch with the TV still on. Let's turn it off, shall we? This couch here? Maybe this one? Right. Hmm. Okay. So, what else? No comment about the wardrobe that I can't get to because the fucking chair's in the way? <laughs> Guess not. Guess not. I'm a little tired. I need to rest and wait for my grandmother to return. I think the sofa on the ground floor looks perfect. What about the guest room? What? One of these? Really? This one? Okay. Alright, we're sleeping on the sofa. And boy is it dark. Okay. <laughs> right. What is that? What is what? What what are we talking about? It's it's so dark I can't really see much. Looks like my candles didn't stay on for too long. Okay. Oh. That might be the TV upstairs. Let's see. I guess my grandma came back. Right. Well, she's not here watching it. She just left it on. Where's that sound coming from? Huh. Maybe it was the spirit of my grandfather. I don't know. Strange. Very strange. Right. Granny, are you back? Ah. That remains on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Can I blow that out? There we go. There's another note here. I cannot sleep without you. When I lie down in bed, I check to see if you're next to me. Maybe you're lying and reading your favorite book. But when I put my hand where you used to sleep, I understand that you're no longer next to me, and I start to cry and howl, and I can't stop. In such moments, I go out for a walk and look at the moon, because it reminds me of you when our evening walks. I miss you so much. Oh, that's a shame. My god, Grandma, had I only known you were so sad. Okay, evening walks should be good for you. Yeah. Maybe not in this rain, though. Right. Okay, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna go grab something to eat. Right, so, what, well, the kitchen downstairs? Alright, so, over here? Yeah, none of the candles are lit, really. Right, what do you fancy? Uh, canned peaches and cereal. That's what I need. When Grandma comes back, I'll ask her to make pancakes for me. After everything that she's been through? You monster! What the... Wait... The radio? There's another note. We love to dance. God, how much we love to dance. I remember the first time you asked me to dance. Our favorite song was playing. The song we later chose to dance to at our wedding. I so badly want to dance with you just one more time. I want to hug you, and for you to hug me. I want to lay my head on your chest again. I want to feel your scent and your touch, my love. Wow. I want to eat. My stomach is growling. Right, okay. It's, it's canned peaches for me. Right. Ooh. Is that my grandfather turning the TV back on? Right. We're going to have words, mister. Strange. Right, again. I'm going to turn this off. Again, I'm hearing something from over here. Wait! Is that a stick man? What the fuck was that? Yeah, what the hell was that? It looks like there's another note. I miss the way you watch TV at night. I've always been mad at you, but now I'd give anything to hear you watch it. To hear your footsteps when you go down to the kitchen to eat at night, and how you would snore falling asleep. I miss the feeling when you'd come to bed in the middle of the night, 
You'd lie down and hug me so lightly. You never wanted to wake me up. But I would wake up anyway, and smile. How I cherish those moments. It was always so warm and cozy. It's so quiet here without you. Quiet and cold. As I read these notes, my eyes start to well with tears. I also love my grandfather very much, and my grandmother... I... I lost my appetite. <laughs> I'll take a shower and go outside to look for Grandma. If she's not back by then. Wait, the power went out? Oh, man. Okay, I'm not going to try fixing it. I'm just going to look for candles instead. Okay. Well, that explains that. Yeah, I can relate. I'm starting to well up reading that sort of stuff. Ooh. Interesting. Why is that locked up? I can barely see outside the front door. Man, there's a real storm out there. Hopefully Grandma comes back fairly soon. And the back door here? Look at that. There's a very thick fog or mist just outside. I can barely see the back garden. Weird. Is this real, do you think? Am I am I dreaming? Right. So I'm gonna go for a shower? I Okay. Hopefully it's not a cold one. I mean the power's out, right? Doesn't seem to be bothering me too much. Okay. Right. Let's see then. I... Oh. What was that? Grandma? Is that you? Is she back from her walk? Huh. Right. Let's see. Find Grandma. <laughs> she's not around here. Maybe she's gone upstairs? Yeah. Yeah, let's let's go upstairs. I'm curious about this door here. Is it still locked? It is. In the bedroom? Hmm. No, she's not back. She's not here. Let's get that lit up again, shall we? This one too. I definitely heard someone though. I don't think it was Grandpa with the TV. Right. Let's light this up and let's head up the ladder. Let's go to the attic. No. Nothing up here either. Oh. Oh. I was just upstairs looking for her. Wait. Maybe she's down here somewhere. No, no, she's, she's got to be upstairs. She has to be. Okay. Right, let's check these doors again. That's locked. What about this one? That wasn't closed. Oh, here we go. Grandma, are you here? Are you okay? Why did you close the door? Okay. I'll go make you some tea. Right. Okay, some tea. Back down to the kitchen then. I don't think that's Grandma. And honestly, at this point, I don't think that you're awake. I think you might be dreaming. Is Grandma... Is Grandma crying? I can hear her. Yeah. I don't know if it's crying or moaning and groaning. But it is above me, right? I should probably go and check on her while the kettle boils. Alright. Maybe it's going to be unlocked. Uh, Grandma, are you here? Is everything alright? I can hear you crying. Ah, it's still locked. I don't hear her anymore. Right. Let's see. How are we doing with the tea? All done? Okay, what? What happened there? It sounds like something's fallen down on the floor. Hang on. Oh, the door's open now. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's happened here? Well, there's still no sign of Grandma, but... Someone or something did cause a ruckus here. 
Oh, that wasn't there before, was it? Look at this, we've got a note. I can't live without you, my love. I'm mad at myself, mad at everyone. Sometimes, out of anger, I start to smash everything around me. I destroy everything, just as I destroyed our lives. You died because of me. It's all my fault. Ooh, the plot thickens. Grandma blames herself for Grandpa's death, but it's not her fault. Or is it? I'm worried about my grandmother. I need to find her as soon as possible and talk to her. Wait, hang on. Somebody's knocking on the door. <laughs> All right, what's going on, Grandma? I oh wow, okay. I don't know if that's Grandma. I ooh. I need to check if the door's closed and see if anyone's there. I'm actually kind of glad that it's locked. And it still is locked. Good. Right. Okay. Um, I need to find the key to the main door and go outside to look for Grandma. Wait, that, what happened to the key? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what about the back door? Okay, that's locked as well. That's probably a good thing. But yeah, what happened to the key? Oh! Whoa! 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 Is that a note there? I don't fucking know! Yes, as it turns out, yes. That really got me. I was not expecting that. You loved hiding things so much. I was very mad at you because of this. You even hid the dishes. And when the guests came, I couldn't find anything. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I fought with you over such petty things. I wish I could turn back time and laugh about it. Man, when I was little, my grandfather liked to hide my toys under the cupboards, sometimes even under his pillow. His pillow, all right. Maybe I should start there, up in the bedroom. Let's see. Uh, not seeing anything, but I don't know which side I'm meant to go on. Ah, there it is. Okay. Got it. Okay. Let's find Grandma outside. Well, let's go. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is Grandma a nun? <laughs> okay. Alright, that one, that one didn't shock me quite as much. I was kind of expecting that one, but uh, wow, yeah. Um, she looked remarkably like a nun, or the nun, in fact. Let's see, though. I think, in reality, she's still outside, right? Is this not working? Hmm. Okay. Something's up. I need to try and open another door. Oh, okay. Maybe it's for the back door. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Yeah, alright, alright. Was that another knock at the door, or was that a knock at the window? What was that? Right, okay. I don't think it's for the back door, either. Oh, wait. Is that me knocking? Oh, it's me knocking. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm scaring myself by knocking myself. Well, there is, there is one more locked door. That guest room. Maybe that's what the key's for. Let's see. Yes, okay. All right. Hmm. Another key? Another key. What is that sound? Is that the mannequin from upstairs? Huh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. Some of the jump scares are falling flat. Some are working. Yeah. This isn't too bad, is it? Right. Let's try that key on the front door. Oh, I forgot. I need a flashlight. It's too dark and rainy outside the house. Okay. Uh, where is this strange sound coming from? Is it the radio? Something upstairs? Hang on. I 
think it might be above me. Right. Before I go find the flashlight, let's go... Let's go check up here. Seems to be remarkably well lit. Maybe the flashlight's up here. Oh, Grandma? Okay. Strange. <laughs> Thank you for leading me towards the flashlight, though. There it is. That's better. Now I'm going to take the raincoat and I'm ready. Right. Okay, right, down we go. Odd little game so far, but I am quite enjoying it. I think this might be the developer's first horror game, so yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay. No red light outside this time. Right, the raincoat. Which one am I going to get? The red or the yellow one? The yellow one? The yellow one it is. Okay, brilliant. Let's see. Yeah, finally I've got the right key. And out we go. Okay. Where are we? <laughs> Where did I come from? How did I get here? Huh, alright. Well, it looks like there's a road closure, so I guess we're not going that way. Road closed. Uh, I think Grandma went the other way. Nah, she's a rebel. She probably went straight through. Looks like I might be able to do that. What was that? What was what? I don't know. Did I miss something again? <laughs> I keep missing things. Right. Well, it looks like there's something at the end of the road here. I don't know if it's going to be Grandma or the nun. I don't know if they're one and the same, honestly. <laughs> okay, right, yep. What was that? Um, that was one of the two. Grandma or the nun. Is that a light? Yes, it is. There's a light there, and there's a light there. What's so special about this one? Now, let's go have a look, shall we? Alright. Watch out for crawling nuns in this forest, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, there's a house in the middle of the woods. And naturally, we're going to let ourselves in. Someone's already dealt with the door. Ooh. Grandma? Nanma? That's a lot of blood. Right. Strange. What's going on exactly? What's the nun... Right. What's the nun got to do with my grandma? Was the nun possessed? My grandma? I don't know. All this blood. Blood everywhere. Right, up here? Wait, is that... Okay. Yeah, that's one of the jump scares that kind of fell flat for me. There is a note down here, though. I need to get back to the trail. Am I not going to read the note? Hang on. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, okay. It's uh, it's a map, actually. Right. So that's me, sort of middle right. And that's the road I was just on. Right, I guess I need to head south and then northwest. Workers. Hmm, okay, okay. Yeah, let's just get out of this place, I think. Weird. Right, so yeah, back down here and then to the right. We're gonna see if we can find workers, I guess. This is Sprint, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a fairly big area as well, so I, I kind of wish I could actually run. But then if I ran, I'd probably end up tripping over the nun, wouldn't I? He's probably in the bushes over there. I can hear you! Right. Seems like another road closure. But there is something else going on here. Uh, all right, well, let's go take a look. Okay. Construction works. I need to ask the workers if they've seen Grandma. Right. It's the middle of the night and it's raining. They're probably not here working. I don't see anyone. I 
actually. That's a lie. Right. Thankfully, I wasn't crushed by a tree. Who's this? I don't know. Oh, God, who was that? Well, I don't think it was Grandma. I don't think she's that nimble. Oh? There's a note here. Uh, boss, it began to rain heavily, and we decided to go to the nearest cafe to eat and wait it out. P.S. Just now, we saw a lonely grandmother here. <laughs> she walked through the forest and went towards that strange totem. We asked her if we could take her home, but she didn't answer. That seems like a very strange thing to put down in writing, but... Strange totem. Right, is that somewhere around here? Strange totem. Right, I guess I need to find this strange totem. Right, so if I, if I have a look at the map, I think I'm at the bottom right now. Yeah, the, the bottom right. Hmm. Maybe that red circle in the top left here. Maybe that's the totem? I don't know if it's actually anywhere near this building. It doesn't seem like there's any more notes. Let's see. Let's go this way. I'm hearing a dog. Yeah, let's, let's head in this direction. Let's follow this path and, and see where this takes us. Do you think that's the nun barking? Hmm. Okay. Oh, alright. First dogs. Now cats. I hope I haven't missed this strange totem, because, yeah, uh... I'm probably not going to go back. Alright. Oh no, no, I didn't miss it. That's got to be it right there. Ooh. I wish my flashlight was a little bit better. I mean, I, I guess I could go back to this, but yeah, that's, that's even worse. Okay. Here we are then. Yeah, here is the totem, and here is another note. The legend of the spirit of the forest. There's an old legend among the locals about the spirit of the forest that helps people lost in the forest to find their way home. But in order for the spirit of the forest to agree to help, you need to give him something. It's said that the spirit of the forest loves fresh fruit. Right. Okay, well there is a, a little basket here. I think I saw apples somewhere. Ah, uh, you mean in the basket? Okay. Will that do as an offering? I, someone already provided the apples for me. <laughs> I saw apples somewhere? Did I? I mean, I didn't. I definitely didn't. Might be talking about those apples. I'm not sure. Okay. So, I think... We're uh, in that sort of top question mark area. I want to know what's in the top left. What's here? Let's see. If I follow this path, I might be able to find out. Apples. With it. Oh. <laughs> see, there's another one of those jump scares that I don't think was executed all that well. It just seems kind of silly. Where was I? Yeah, I, I didn't see any. I didn't see any fruit. Or I didn't see any apples inside that house, did I? I mean, maybe there were some there, but I, I didn't see any. Alright. Looks like there might be something over here. Oh man, this is... It, it's so sluggish running around this forest. Or trying to run around this forest. I like the way the forest looks. I like the visuals. I like the sounds too, but to be honest, I want to go back to the house. Okay. Right, let's see. I wonder if this is the path that I couldn't go down because the road was closed. Okay. Oh, there's a whole building here. Oh, wait. Hang on. We got some bread. Wait. Here are the apples. Wait. How? Did you have foresight of the apples? Or? I don't quite understand that. For travellers, if you get lost in the forest, just ask the spirit of the forest and he will show you the way home. Right. Take or release Apple. Well, have I got to take this back to the totem? Oh 
boy. This is going to take a while. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. There we go. I've got it. Um, I guess I'll be coming back to explore this place, right? So, let me just go deal with the totem first. Alright, well that took far too long, but here I am, back at the basket. Can I... Alright. That lamp wasn't there. No, you're right, it wasn't. Thank you, Spirit of the Forest. Let's see. Maybe I need to go and pick it up. Oh. Oh, there's another. Okay. Where's this going to take me, I wonder? There's some more lights over there. Right, okay. Is this the way my grandma went? I can't imagine so. Is that a path? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, oh? All right. Seems like someone's there. Is that Grandma? I found my Grandma. She was sitting by the lake, crying and freezing, all alone. Aww. I immediately ran up to her. I put my jacket on her shoulders and said, Make me some pancakes. No, everything is fine. Everything will be fine, Grandma. Let's go home. <laughs> what? Okay, silent nights, everyone. I can't believe that. Okay, nothing was really explained. I've got so many questions. That area by the apples, I'm actually regretting not exploring that now, because now I don't have the chance. But what was going on inside the house? Was it haunted? What was going on with Grandma? The, the nun? What? Who's that? Was she ever possessed? The TV's turning on and off, and all that stuff that I saw, was that my grandfather dicking around with me? Some sort of malevolent spirit? Thank you for playing. Thank you for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video. Maybe you can answer some of my questions in the comments and, and make me understand this game a little bit better. Silent nights, everyone. Um, all that stuff aside, game was a little bit of a mixed bag for me. Some hits, some misses. Uh, some of the scares worked, some fell a little bit flat. Uh, I think a lot of the jump scares did fall a bit flat for me, but some were well-timed, well-executed, and some really did catch me out. I think the game does a very good job story-wise in making you care for Grandma. Uh, it tugs at your heartstrings, making you read those notes, and it's quite harrowing, not because of the scares, but because of how sad the story is at the beginning. Um, and I think I probably liked the beginning of the game a little bit more in the house. It's a familiar environment that gradually, you know, turns into something else. You hear knocks, things are moving around, things aren't where they should be, and I like that. When you go out into the forest, y you miss that. Uh, and it's such a big area that takes so long to traverse. Yeah, I didn't care for it all that much. It's a bit of a shame the way the game wrapped up, but, um... Silent Nights, yeah. Uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, like or dislike the video, and I hope to see you back in another one very soon. So I went to the village to visit her. And the award for the most unnecessary subtitles goes to... <laughs> Let's assume that's a red wine stain and not blood, shall we? I don't remember this door ever being open. Okay. Did you never clean yourself when you visited Grandma and Grandpa? <laughs> Alright, we're sleeping on the sofa. And boy is it dark. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm hearing something from over here. Wait! Is that a stick man? What the fuck was that? I oh wow, okay. I don't know if that's Grandma. Okay, that's locked as well. That's probably a good thing. But yeah, what happened to the key? Whoa! 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 Okay. <laughs> Is Grandma a nun? <laughs> oh, shit. What? Oh wait, is that me knocking? Oh, it's me knocking! Right, okay. <laughs> okay, right, yep. This is Sprint, believe it or not. 
<laughs> Who's this? I don't know. I immediately ran up to her. I put my jacket on her shoulders and said, make me some pancakes. 